Okay, great. Well, thank you and uh, welcome here. Um, I'm Tycho de Waard, uh, and my company is called uh, Chaps Digital Agency. Um, and uh, before we get uh, started, of course, a big hand for our valuable sponsors, especially the new ones with uh, Iris Green in the logo. Yeah? So um, today, um, uh, I'd like to take you on a trip for adding value to websites and web shops by measuring and analyzing. Um, I started the company a little over a year ago, uh, but I've been in the business since 2000. I started as a project manager for the Chamber of Commerce in the Netherlands. Did a lot of big projects there, big budgets, learned a lot. But then after a couple of years I thought, well, what if I stay here? Then I probably stay here until my retirement. So I need to move away from government. And I joined an uh, IT company and became a marketing consultant. Uh, it was a totally different environment. It was uh, listed as, uh, at the stock exchange, uh, international, the, the whole works. And I learned there one really important thing, and that's corporates at the stock exchange suck. <laughs> because they are really focused on business value uh, of, on, uh, for mark, uh, stock market and not on actual products. And I really wanted to work on great products, so I um, went further and started doing what I love doing most, which is uh, building websites. And I joined ICOT, so there's Hanneke and uh, Willy Meek. Um, I had the pleasure of working with them for nine years, learned a lot as well, and so much that I now have my own company, uh, totally focusing on DNN. And as you may have heard in the lineup of what I did, I never use the word developer because I'm not. So that's quite an adventure. Um, and it's my conviction that, uh, and this is a little contradiction to what Daniel just explained, uh, it's my conviction that you can accomplish a lot and do a lot and add a lot of value by using default um, modules that is out there on the store and within DNM itself. And of course, Too Sexy being one of them. Um, so, why is this topic? Because um, I've been around for a couple of years and I think we are very proud of what we do. And I see uh, Duotix there as well. He's one of the companies that make great designs, so kudos to you. Um, I think we uh, create a lot of integrations. We even have customers who want freaky uh, stuff, which we like, because then we can build freaky stuff. And um, we do this so much that we think we have an expert opinion on UX. So out of the box, we do pretty good stuff. And well, there's a lot more to what we do. But my question is, do we really improve the business of the customer? And I mean that in the broadest sense of the word. I mean, for my website, I want them to call me. And uh, I have a customer who uh, sells uh, fitness equipment. He wants to sell stuff. But a ministry, for instance, they want people to change their behavior, so they have to sell other stuff, sell conviction, explain why a behavior change is needed. So they won't need a great checkout, but they need great content. Easy to find, easy to comprehend for everyone. So that's a different kind of measurement of success. So, and I put a lot, uh, some more there, but like uh, for Facebook, they will uh, see how people connect and interact, so they have other measurements. So for this session I'm going to take you to The Hague. Everyone familiar with that one? No? Need a little context. There's Limerick <laughs> and there is The Hague. It's the residential city of uh, the Netherlands. Great city, great people, crappy accent. And in that city is uh, nearby a skating ice hall is Airsoft. Airsoft Inc. is a company and they do Airsoft games. So anyone experience with Airsoft? One? Okay. Then I'm going to do the video just for a short introduction. War games. Air games. Uh, here it is.
You get the sense? We use this, but, but in real life, before uh, 24 years. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, how was it? You're long back to that time? Yeah. I know a website that sells the stuff. <laughs> and now, actually, the, all the guns in the, the shop are legally sold and shipped in the Netherlands. You can just get them by mail order. Um, and for some of the guns, you need to permit. So there's some checking process that you're not a wacko. Um, so um, Airsoft Company, um, and I had this old crappy website, and they asked me to rebuild that. This is a picture of the shop, and you can also go in there and booking events. Um, so what you saw is it's actually an extreme sport. So when I was 16, we had paintball, and we tried to shoot the crap out of each other with paint. This is next gen. So maybe Call of Duty, Rainbow Six fans, if you're into gaming of that kind, this might be your game as well. And you saw some firing, the BBs. So it's uh, air pressured and those yellow uh, plastic balls going 400 kilometers per hour. You can hurt people. So there are also safety regulations. Um, and of course in the Netherlands it's not as common to uh, deal in arms like in the US for instance. So, uh, but you can book the events and there are different scenarios. You can uh, save a hostage, uh, conquer a compound, kill all the enemies. I mean there are about 10 of them. And what you just saw is of course the music is a little dramatic but uh, the video is actual, so people are weekends and uh, doing this for a couple of hours. So in green, what they're in for? So they have to make a living too. So they get paid by people who book events and buying guns or armor. And that's why I'm to, here to help. It's a relatively a new company. And it costs a lot of money to invest initially. So he asked me, please keep it as low cost as possible. And uh, we're going to improve. We're going to iterate. So uh, let's do that. Um, so I tried to get, uh, keep it as low budget. And um, it means I reused as non-dev. I bought the uh, skin from uh, Linda from uh, DNA Go. Um, I know my way around in two sexy content, so to uh, give that um, a nice editing mode for the customer, I use that. Uh, for registering of events, is the Dina News. Uh, I have enough knowledge of that module to know for sure that I could uh, get away with that, because the big anxiety, of course, in this kind of modules is the boundaries. You really have to know what's possible and what's not. Um, I created a wizard, it will be, it's not like a magician, but we get there um, to guide people to the right events and there is a shop and I used Embride Buy and from now on we all use the word open store because I'm forbidden to use the word Embride Buy by some people. Um, and the next step was uh, personas. and. I put them here because age is a very determining factor for what event is suitable. <laughs> so what all these guys have in common is they're really outgoing, they're pretty busy, um, and as they grow older they might even have airsoft as an extreme hobby, so they buy their own guns and armor and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and there are different stages, so uh, initially maybe the mom or dad is going to buy uh, the event for his birthday as an event, later on he goes into the soccer team. And so there are different reasons uh, people may want to have an airsoft event and Rajesh is really a freak, he's doing this every week. Um, no girls in the personas, it's politically incorrect but it's reality, maybe 1% is girl, so it was commercially not interesting to do so. Um, and really a lot of people from Africa and Asia by the way, it's maybe 60-70%. So that was uh, funny. So because there are a lot of events and actually uh, some events are not allowed for minors, for 14. And if you're younger than six, you cannot play the game at all. And if you're, so 
we created little wizard that uh, guides you through that process. <coughs> so it's uh, a lot of white. Can, is it readable? Yeah. Not in the back, not real. It's Dutch anyway. So I'll read it for you. <laughs> so uh, the first question is, um, how young is the youngest player? The youngest player determines the kind of game you are allowed to play. Second is, how many of you are there? I mean, this, if it's uh, five or less, it's not fun. I mean, you, you're not going to compete two against uh, three or something. So then you'll be directed to one of the organized events you can join. Um, so here it is, 15, uh, 14 to 17. And uh, we're five people or less, so we're going to guide you to the uh, easy News events. And is this uh, only the, the wizard, or is that the form? Uh, Sorry? Is that, is, what you told us, is that only the wizard, or is it the wizard and uh, Sharp? This is the uh, action form from yeah. DNA Sharp. And then yes. The so the fields are um, interactive. So the choices are, that are being made here uh, influence the values in drop-downs, option lists, etc., and of course the buttons that are being shown. Yeah, okay, and then, but, the, but goes to, what, what does the wizard do, or is it... Well, if, if you choose a younger than six, yeah, uh, it will sense. say... <laughs> sorry? But is it, is it in the form included or something, or... No, it's just created. It's in the form, yeah. I just created the form. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that in a two-second Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's, there are uh, weapons of choice and uh, no pun intended, by the way. So, and I know my way around in action form, I feel comfortable with that. And uh, my knowledge of two-sec is not up, uh, to a point that I was uh, trusting myself for, uh, for this one. Um, so, clicking on the button will lead you to a standard um, uh, event list in EasyDNN News, and it's working pretty well, by the way. So it's a pretty busy business. Um, if you would choose six people or more, you get a longer form asking you when do you wish to play, from how many hours do you have your own gear, stuff like that, and um, that email will trigger someone in uh, Airsoft Inc. to organize a custom event for you, where later on other people can join, of course. Um, buying guns, just a uh, straightforward open store and I actually uh, asked Linda to uh, have their DNN Go menu altered so I, uh, they use the DDR menu because open store will integrate uh, the product list into the menu and that's important for mobile. And of course the usual checkout process and but what are the numbers? So last year, um, 1,200 bookings, total 10,000 people. Um, so uh, I, I don't think it's bad for a couple of guys doing some shooting in a, some forest. Um, the shop is relatively new. It's not really people know anything about, and it's just a couple of pieces a week. Uh, so three or four items, um, that's not a lot. But it's just to get more exposure. If you're interested in buying guns, you might be interested in booking events as well. So that was the philosophy. And of course, the, the first question is, is that a lot? And could it be more? And first reaction is to dive into Google Analytics and see if we can understand the numbers and to have an opinion about, uh, on that. Uh, first, about the numbers, everything is smaller in the Netherlands. Um, I, I can understand the chat coming from the US or I don't know, where, where did you come from, Spain or US now? Uh, somewhere, somewhere in the middle, middle yeah. <laughs> uh, did I come all the way to Ireland and some Dutch guy talking about 1200 bookings per year. I have more people on my barbecue. But this is the reality of the Netherlands. It's tiny, not a lot of people. Um, so we were pretty happy with uh, what we saw. Um, and what you want as a marketeer, and that's what I studied, that's what I did for a lot of years, is uh, know the market share. These numbers I just uh, showed you are having much more context if you know the market share. If you know uh, my market share is 5% of everything in the Netherlands, then you can understand other numbers as well. And you can formulate 
uh, ambitions, like 10% within the next two years. People are very hush hush about these kind of figures. So that's the Netherlands. So with some disclaimers and some numbers I'm not uh, certain of, um, we're still going to do this anyway. So there are actually three basic ways to improve the numbers. So we want more traffic or have better conversion on events or better conversions on the shop. That's about it. So starting from there, um, this is the traffic uh, throughout the year. At the end of October, uh, the website was live. Uh, so uh, November and the months after that, about 15, 16,000 page views per month. And uh, in March, a lot of weapons were added to the shop. So although uh, just selling four pieces a week, uh, it did uh, double the page views and the visitors. So again, I, for Dutch proportions, and some guys uh, at the edge of a forest, this is not bad. And we want uh, one of the um, strategies getting more traffic, because if the conversion remains the same, automatically you will have more sales. Uh, you can do this by CEO, you can uh, buy ads, uh, you can have, do some blogging on YouTube, which they do actually, like unboxing a water PPK. Um, but they already did that, so I'm going to dive into CEO uh, or SEO, and this is it. Perfection is a lot of little things done right. And a lot of little things we don't have time for or take the time for, but it's really important. What I'm going to show you here is not rocket science. I'm not Nicoyani, but I think it's effective anyway. What could help me with understanding my current position on CO is, um, of course, there are some Chrome extensions like WooRank and the CO One Click. And there are also commercial uh, software that's on the top. I think most of you know Moz and Semrush and stuff like that. Pretty costly. But when I was working this, uh, on this, um, uh, AppSumo had a, a great deal. Somebody, uh, anyone, everybody knows AppSumo? No? A-P-P-S-U-M-O. It's like the group on for software. And sometimes at the great deals, usually Serpstat is $20, $30 per month, and this was $40 uh, for a lifetime. So that was a no-brainer for me. So to give us a head start with SEO, Serbs out of this, and that's a great thing, it's called Site Audit, and it gives you a first sense of how you're doing. So I uh, turned it on, got some coffee, and got 97%. That is dramatic. That's bad. Um, luckily, they can also provide you some information on where it is bad. And then you have to analyze yourself, so how can we do that? This is not really readable, um, but it says that H1 duplicates the title more than a thousand times, or almost 2,000 times, uh, missing H1 tag uh, lots of uh, hundreds of times, and there are some uh, things um, with descriptions in events. So four to-dos. If I fix those four, I'm into business again. So well, what is causing the trouble is, um, sorry, open store. I made this slide earlier, sorry. <laughs> open store, um, there's uh, some great feature like uh, it duplicates the title and that keeps you from uh, preventing to forget the title. So that's good. What it just says is uh, you're missing out on opportunities. Uh, not catastrophic, but it's nice feedback anyway. What is an eye-opener for me, that default category was missing H1 uh, tag. So hundreds of pages are not being indexed by Google properly. And the events in Easy DNN News was not CO optimized either. So next step, go to the category template and let's dive into some Razor. That's not hard, I could do it. And indeed, it has a beautiful H3 tag. So what do we do? Yes, that's it. Simply replace those two, run the site audit again, and this is much better. This could have run for years, in my view, without noticing if you 
did never did decide on it. So, and the fix is two minutes work. Um, I did not implement the new 9.3.2 version of Easy DNA News, but uh, I had some contact with Demir and he said, well, there are a lot of great features for SEO, so I can't wait to install that. It will be next week. So then uh, most of the uh, critical or high priority issues have been uh, handled. Um, actually, it's already improving a lot since I did uh, the other changes, because it was three, four weeks ago, so it's already um, serving a purpose. Other things in Serpstat is like analyze competitors, uh, gives you feedback on keyword density and uh, backlinks. Backlinks are one of the most important uh, features for Google. And what I did notice <coughs> and is that the airsoft world is not a really big community. So in the list of backlinks, uh, the three biggest companies weren't in there. Like some association and um, a big informational website, this was not on there. So I just g went to their website and actually two of them had wrong links uh, with .com or a backslash instead of a normal slash. And one totally, totally missed that. So what the owner of Air uh, Airsoft uh, Inc. did, three calls, next day it was fixed. And because they are very important sites, it will add a lot to uh, domain and website authority. So, getting more traffic. There can be done more, but for now uh, we're gaining points a lot. So we're diving into selling more events. Analytics, of course, the first step. This is uh, what's in the top 10. Uh, we know we have 25,000 page views in April. One in strong or bold are related to the event booking. And this is what we want. We want to understand the funnel in the wizard. So the dialogue in the form that will lead to event booking. Um, and of course, the numbers who subscribed uh, to the existing events and ask for custom events. In a funnel, because um, Google Analytics will mess up your mind if you try to figure this one out, so this is a better overview. So at the bottom you have to understand that all, well, along the way there are always people dropping out of the funnel. And here, this figure we have, 1200, we can measure the events page, that's about 850. There are some steps inside the wizard, and of course, if uh, you have the custom events, there are some more uh, fields in the wizard. Um, Dean and Sharp and myself put a lot of effort in trying to have a, a, a nice way of um, measuring the Dean and Sharp form, uh, forms in Google Tag Manager, but so far it didn't work out as uh, we wanted. So if we have that next step, I'll come back to you. But, um, and the other thing that's missing is a good reporting tool in Easy DNA News. You can see how many people have submitted, uh, registered for an event, but not the register event date. Does that sound logical? Why I want that? Because I have the numbers in the analytics for April. And I, want, and I can see who is registered for an event in April, but it can easily be done in March or in February. So for the effectiveness of measuring this, I would need more information for, uh, from ECDNN News. So that's still a gap. And of course I'm uh, in contact with Demir on, uh, to see if we can fill that gap, because it would mean a lot. What we do have is this information. So if 850 people are on the page for um, registering for an event, it means that maximum of 350 are going for a custom event. And some will drop out of the funnel, of course. And what we also know is um, the people paid. So, in my estimated guess, in combining these figures, we could probably do multiply this, uh, this number by three, if we do this ba that better. Um, this takes a lot of time to analyze all the figures, but I'll spare you that. Uh, trust me on this one, this, um, times three is doable. 
So uh, I went to the airsoft uh, company and we just had a beer and thought, well, what could be the problem? Because it was a low cost job at first, so maybe it's too ugly or maybe words are not clear or the confirmation process is unclear and sometimes people just drop out. I think I'm going to have a great game with you. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, you're on a holiday or something like that. So it all can happen. So what we, did, what we did next is use hot jar and A-B testing. How many take it for hot jar? No one? Okay, you're in for a treat then. Um, because it records sessions. And uh, so it gives me an insight on how people actually navigate. Uh, it's free, up to, uh, you just create an account, you can uh, create a website, get a code snippet like analytics or something like that, and per website or customer you have up to 100 uh, recordings for free. Is so. Is that uh, not part of, uh, it has similar functionality in uh, Google Analytics, I think. No. 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 I'm going to show you. Um, we're almost there for the uh, recordings. Um, but there was one example that, uh, I deleted the video, sorry about that. But what happened is, um, it was on April 10th, somebody uh, was submitting himself for 25th of May. I see him clicking to the detail page, and then the mouse literally went to the submission ah. button, and then he stumbled upon another date that was before the actual day he was visiting. It's the publication date within EasyDNN News. It's standard, but it's conflicting. And of course, if I would have designed it better, this would be such a big fuck up. Sorry about that. Um, so next step is just remove that. And while we're at it, if event date is such an important issue, just make that a little bigger and remove the author and some other overhead. So uh, this already makes a little difference. I'm sure of that. So some more um, uh, video then. Hotjar 74. Um, yeah. So this is just an example. Oh. I'm going to show you the videos and then explain what happens. There are very tiny uh, red dots. This is a click. So what happened here is um, the template within Embright by is the title is the click to the next page. So there are several uh, themes and this one only has to click on the title and not on the image. So someone is trying to go to the next page but is not clicking. That was stupid. Um, Oh yeah, this, this one's fun. This is for a mobile user. See if you can understand what's going on here. So he just um, had a product category. He's looking at the store. Doing the menu again. Looking for some categories again. And selecting a new one. Can happen any moment. This is a very thoughtful person. And we're back in the store. Beautiful picture. And now he's waiting for a minute or so and then just gave up. Hmm. What's the problem here? Anyone? He probably couldn't find what he was looking for. Sorry? He probably couldn't find what he was looking for. He's like specific going to a category, but the category didn't give him what he wanted. Yeah, at the minimum, this image is not giving him the feedback that he was looking for. Hmm. And the problem, I think, is that the image that the customer put there is too big. Yeah. Because this one didn't swipe yeah. twice, did not swipe. I'm amazed because that's what the phone is for, swipe, damn it. But that's why on a, mo on a mobile phone, you need to remove big pictures. And yeah, stuff. <laughs> either adjust the, the size or remove it at all. But for these kind of people, just, and, um, I think that uh, the customer, he said, well, I like to have a little bit of a uh, picture because I, I like the feel of the website. So I, um, we agreed okay, to okay. make it smaller. But uh, on, on mobile phone, yeah. there is no need for 
So um, here's the uh, some other shopper in the um, and this one. There are also people uh, relying on reviews, and one of the things uh, that I noticed is that um, you see him clicking here. And uh, all reviews are related to the events. Oh, and the same reviews are used in the shop. So there's a conflict of content. So, and there are several types of uh, shoppers. Uh, I hope I have some time left at the end to uh, give you some uh, examples for that. Um, that, that one. Uh, this one just. Well, actually, um, the the customer I already explained that to him. He put the content in a full bar pane. Of a uh, full width pane, so he didn't understand uh, the difference between the content pane and full width pane. Um, so here it was. I think I got some uh, pretty valuable information from that. Uh, and there was also, uh, because Hotjar will also tell you whether it's Android or mobile uh, resolution, stuff like that. So there was one Android version that was not loading the pictures correctly. Um, so that needs to be fixed. Um, this we just saw. So most recordings because you're not in charge of Hotjar and say, well, I only want recordings for events. Uh, I think the paid version does give you that option. So, uh, but it's valuable information anyway, but we're still looking for a way to optimize events. Uh, so we're gonna optimize the shop anyway. Actually, you already did. Um, yes? What I'm always wondering about, because you told me about Hotjar. Yeah. I'm always like, if I'm going on websites, yeah. and, uh, do you tell the people when they go on the website, like work on the records, what you're doing? Because no. I would not like it. I would not go on a website and they're going to record every step that yeah. I make in video. Yeah. There's in the uh, uh, disclaimer or privacy statements, there's a section, nobody reads that anyway. <laughs> um, and all the recordings are before uh, May 25th. So, uh, just to be sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> and well, actually, um, no, Hotjar actually has uh, taken steps to be GDPR compliant. So, uh, I sorry. I wonder how they're going to do that. Yeah, well, uh, just visit the Hotjar website and have a look on how they do that. Um, for instance, like uh, with forms, if forms are being uh, filled in, they can blur it now. And uh, that doesn't take away your anxiety for this kind of uh, recordings, but uh, it does guarantee you that you will not be uh, identified yeah. as uh, Aranka. You know, don't, don't get me wrong, I love the information that you get, about, yeah. you get out of it, because, but if I feel uncomfortable with people literally following me on a website, I do not know how a client will feel. Yeah, I, uh, I understand your sentiments. It's beautiful. It's also, yeah. also, because if you do it, um, if you do actual user testers, they are all, they know, if they know that... They're they deformed. It, it's deforming. Yeah. This is not, this is the end. Yeah, so. this is the real stuff. Yeah. Yeah. These are actual clients, yeah. and some of their, uh, I mean, there's one just going all, all over the place, like he's on speed or something, and <laughs> some other people, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's yeah. looking yeah. for air so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and other people are really yeah. cautious and trying to read every little bit, and that's reality. So we can always design uh, with ourselves in our minds, thinking we are our customers ourselves. Well, we're actually not. Um, okay, so A-B testing. How many people are experienced with that? Yeah, so about half, I think. So the concept is just, um, well, this is the most basic variant, is have two versions of a page um, and make variations in design or content or whatever and um, put that to uh, or offer that to a segment of your users and then analyze and you can use just use uh, Google Analytics for that to see what converts better or just look at your paycheck 
uh, the, the bank account. So what I did is uh, two lists. On the left you'll see uh, the standard that was running, uh, the standard list view, and on the right I thought, well, I get the same information that's here every, every, every time, uh, put it in the category description and uh, display that. And below choose uh, just um, an event list. So really focused on choose your date. So, um, because that information is the same everywhere. Um, so I feel pretty sure that that will work better. Um, and then to utilize that, I use the redirect toolkit from uh, DNS Sharp. Um, you could also use other uh, pieces of software, and Google Optimize is uh, uh, free as well nowadays, or Google 3 on 60 is called now. I think I'll want. But uh, there are two reasons to want this. One, I was uh, experienced with uh, this module from Dean and Sharp. And two, um, the customer thought that Google already had enough information. So uh, I'm going to use this. Um, what it does, it's not really beautiful, isn't it? It's one of the most crappy things I've seen from Dean and Sharp. But it does the job. What it says here, because Redirect Toolkit uh, empowers you to say, well, if you're on a page, um, let's redirect you. On what terms? So you add the module to the page that you want people to have the other version of. So the, the basic list gets this module, and then you say, well, I want the percentage of users, and equals to 50, and I want to, to redirect to the alternative page. That's it. And that's how simple it is. Just create a, another page that has uh, slight alterations and, um, and start measuring that. Um, it's a bit tricky to have really solid uh, numbers to, um, to say how successful the two varieties were because we, at the same time, we did some experiments with Google Tag Manager and uh, somehow uh, the page views for a couple of days were about tenfold, and I think I'm pretty sure I just messed up with the Google Tag Manager there. Um, but we do see uh, improvement somewhere between 10-15% for the variants for the new version. So we're now in the process of um, testing the other segments as well. Because I started with, uh, here's the Nerf Party and another segment, um, and now we're ready and confident enough to apply the same uh, design to the 18 plus version because that's where the big money is. And I didn't want to experiment with the cash cow. Um, so what we did, did we do? We improved the CL, the, the SEO. We improved uh, UX using a hot jar. Yes, I share your sentiments, but I'm really glad with the input I got. And um, we improved UX a little bit further due to uh, Redirect Toolkit. And um, I think most work was for me to watch all the videos, which I did basically to select the proper ones for you. Um, I think the, the research half a day uh, actually implementing a new list and do some tweaking in, in open store two hours maximum and have some uh, two hours left to reanalyze uh, stuff. So in one day you can uh, accomplish this. An accomplishment in real uh, euros is that I now have uh, 10 pieces a week worth uh, 1300 euro. Um, I mean if it were, was five instead of four you would say well just got lucky or whatever, but these, it, it's, uh, the week before that is also nine uh, or 10. So it's really uh, doubles, maybe two and a half times. Um, events, uh, because we did some other tweaks as well, is now climbing up to uh, doubled. So, um, and yesterday, that was fun. Because uh, I was talking to him, I, I, are there any numbers you want me to keep quiet? Or can I just uh, tell everything? No, you 
just tell everything, but would you please stop improving stuff? So, um, and normally it was, I would say, well, I have a happy customer, but. Um, so I hope this inspires you to, um, to put a little effort in this and read about Hotjar, see if you're comfortable with uh, using that. It's really easy to implement. It's uh, right at um, where you insert uh, the page header. Well, I'm not sure it's host settings and then other settings or something like that. So just insert the, the code snippet and start recording. Um, Policy. Sorry? I put it in your privacy. Yes, yes. And afterwards, uh, you can yeah, delete it. Marketing cookies. Yeah, I got from the <laughs> office that you can also read logins uh, uh, yeah. things. And so you have to be really careful where you can put it in. Not yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> so please comply to, uh, to the law. Um, and well, I think I have some time left. I have lots of time left. Um, so I just want to want to have a question first. No. Oh, because I have these uh, to spare. Because um, there are, there are many lists of how many uh, e-commerce users we have, but this is comprehensive. Just five. There is a list with seven and with thirteen. But this will give you uh, a nice overview of what kinds of types there are. Because the uh, the one on speed, uh, I think that was the first one. There was really someone who knew what he was coming for and he was going to get it within 30 seconds. Um, the one on the mobile, just looking at a picture and doing nothing, it could be mom or dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or it could be a researcher just thinking everything through. And um, we all know that these types, the researcher, well, I, I married one. Mm -hmm. so. Um, and she's a lawyer, so she will go through every little tiny detail. And I'm not. I have purchased uh, the thing within 30 seconds, and she's researching for days and days. Um, so we get along pretty well. Um, and we went to browser, and maybe you can relate that to yourself. If you're looking for a new phone, you probably have been browsing for that for weeks or months. And once you have decided what it's going to be, then you become the, the product-focused buyer. But you're going to have uh, maybe cars, so, and that's okay. And of course, you have the, the bargain hunters. Um, we all know Booking.com? Yeah. With well, an annoying button, two rooms left, and a button, three people are looking at this room. How annoying is that? It's really working. So uh, although we all know, at least uh, all we, we all suspect that it's fake, but it works. Just like if you want to buy your seat in a, in a plane, and do you want to pay extra for your seat? No. Go to the next step. You're in the middle. Do you want to change your seat? Yes. <laughs> so it's real simple, but it works, and it makes a lot of money for these people. Um, how to deal with these? Because that's the main issue. How are we going to improve with tiny elements to appeal to these people? Product focused, we need to be there right away. And many shops or websites are um, helped with top five articles, top five sold pieces, um, stuff like that. Researchers, please find a way for reviews and then appropriate reviews. Uh, so they really combine and enhance each other. And stupid things like best price or now available uh, only uh, no, uh, rated with four stars. It can be any crap. So give the sense of control, give the sense of warranties and they are doing their homework. And of course warranties, nobody reads them, they do. So. If there is a, a way to at least, you can, can also offer it at the bottom. Researchers go all the way. So also to the bottom, also a smaller font, you can do it. And the bargain hunters, yeah, that's easy, 10% off. And I'm thinking of, because in the event booking, it says uh, five seats available. 
So only five seats available. Uh, it's just tiny details that can enhance the, uh, the performance. And of course, the next step is to have if ten, uh, ten seats available, it's okay. And um, only um, if it's five or less, only. And in red and stuff like that. But um, so there are small yesterday, tweaks. Yesterday I was hiring a car for here, and I said exactly the same thing. One person is looking at this car. And yeah. I want to fly. I came back half an hour later, the car was gone. Yeah. I had to pay 10 pounds, 10 euros more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, I, I think, um, well, there's a lot of uh, price differentiation. Um, I know uh, Ernst Peter was uh, booking his car online. Uh, I know Hanukkah was uh, buying a car at the airport. <laughs> I think eightfold, something like that. Yeah, it was 80 euros for Ernst Peter. Oh, uh, 500. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so difference between 80 and 500. So, yeah, yeah they, they want to grab you, yeah. absolutely. Um, for the one time shoppers, you really have to imagine your dad or, or in our case, ourselves. If I, well, I have a seven-year-old daughter, so she's not really in the focus group here, but if I would have a 12-year-old boy and I was ordering this, oh yeah, I could use a chat assistant just to, because what I found, and we're still discussing that, I want to know, um, is it safe? There's a small section about safety for the kids, but I need more. And I also want to know if, um, I'm having a party with 10 kids who has overview of everything or just running around and if somebody got hurt uh, it's my problem or is there uh, are the three of their staff uh, making sure everyone's uh, going according to a plan so all these things that moms and dads want to know that need to be added so in this case I was one time shopper and a little bit of a researcher the research I thought I never was Apparently, for my daughter, I am. So, um, now I am ready for questions. Uh, did the client pay you more? Because you said um, he, um, he had a re um, really tight uh, budget. Yeah. And you proved to him that if you are expanding your budget to inquire and to, um, for example, you showed a, a couple of things. Um, um, give him yeah, things, yeah, the thing yeah. could be better, but you don't give it to you, you use standard things and, and things that, like uh, putting the um, publication dates in, in the, you know, in the product list, or the, yeah. Himself, but you had a tight budget. So, um, is he now more willing to pay you more? You yes, oh, yeah. we are now in a stage of more projects. Um, they're running three shops now. Um, one was a showcase uh, shop for the Ministry of Defense um, because um, you want to show off this uh, airsoft guns because they have uh, actual replicas of what the army is using. Uh, since I think last year someone died during uh, some uh, practice, uh, not in airsoft but in the army. So they're now in the process of selling airsoft guns so they can practice with that, which is a lot safer. And last week they uh, learned that they actually got the uh, the tender. So now he's in the process of selling 20, 30,000 uh, guns and all maintenance and stuff like that. So they're really stepping up. So it's actually the, the same store because Open Store will allow you to have a multi store set up. Uh, I only changed the templating so there's no pricing, no VAT, stuff like that. So, because all prices won't be relevant if you buy 20,000. I think there is a little discount there. So, so yes, um, and for this, because I did a lot of research to uh, watching all the videos, for instance, um, I, I think it took about, uh, I'm not sure, uh, it took a lot of time to get all the data and, and watch all the videos and to have the proper information to combine. So I said, well, let's do this. You're going to pay for the redirect toolkit. Uh, you're going to pay for the enhancement that I make, and the research hours are mine. Yeah, but, but uh, I, I understand you do that for now. But F, technically speaking, and, uh, he should pay for all. And yeah. Because you showed him, it's working. Yeah. 
you're, you're making much much more money. So yeah. next client, I hope you will come and say, it cost me a week to analyze it properly. Yeah. But it kind of, you kind of earn, you can pay me back by yeah. you earn more profit. So and now I have the actual evidence to prove that. The, because the nice thing about your talk is that you, um, you can make very, very hard that if uh, a tight budget is bullshit, <laughs> and you should, and you, sh and you should, and, and, and what you did, that's, that's nice. Okay, I make your website, I can make a website, I can make a good website, but this, this budget, it's not the perfect website. Yeah. And you know how to make a perfect website, perfectly yeah. well. Yeah. But you, and you make a not perfect website, and then you can prove to him, um, and your budget needs to be uh, up by uh, tenfold. Need to, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say uh, to double or triple it, but yeah. I would say 10. Yeah. But you know, that's our difference always. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can see, he can pay you yeah. 10 times because you, you make much more money yeah. for him. So. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's a nice uh, way to work, like yeah. you make something small yes. and measure it and the client listens, which is really nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and believes you. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can prove it. Yeah. Yes. It's a nice thing. Yeah, but and then uh, you can improve it, and then you can squeeze. Yeah, that's, 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 that's building that's trust. Much yeah. more for us, but would, uh, uh, for, um, would have, um, but maybe a, a, a couple of things we would have yeah. done already at the start. We yeah. would have costs yeah. more. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So this yeah. Is, uh, and that's, that's of course this uh, uh, this example. What I hope to uh, to inspire is to use these kind of tools to optimize. Yeah. Everyone has their own context, and it's right there, and it's really easy to use and to implement. And you get a lot of uh, valuable information. Maybe not these obvious things that should have done the first time, yeah, but nice. you will see the. Uh, oh, I never thought about that. Uh, maybe some words that people don't understand. Or it's too long, or because um, Hotjar people actually, if they're using a mouse, they actually point you where they are with reading. Yeah. And if they're reading and there's a long word or a difficult word, the mouse stops. Yeah. It's how the brain works of humans, yeah. and that's great to see. Uh, also, uh, not only the, um, also clients have sometimes very stupid ideas, <laughs> yeah. and, and but they stick to it, and you can then prove. Yeah. So, thank you for attending and uh, having a great day. So, thank you.